a lovely day. Oh, yeah. The weather's also nice today as well. That, that looks so cool. It yeah, looks like one of those samurai huts. That oh, see yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. So yeah. we've done, you know, in math, we've done uh, problems thousands of times on paper, right? Yeah. But, but if you look at this, this is just a natural problem that's made here. So if we could find the actually equation of this problem, wouldn't mm -hmm. that be interesting? Oh, very well. Very well. Yeah, I think you can do it, right? Yeah, can you help us find the equation of this parabola? Yeah, sure. And uh, you know what? I have a measuring tape because I knew we'll do something like this in the field. <laughs> oh, let's okay, do it. Let's do. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so first, um, what I suggest we do is we measure the distance from this side to that side. Okay. And then we also find the distance from the, the, the vertex point or like the middle of this parabola to like the middle of these two. Okay. The length between. Okay, uh, what do you think? Will that work? Yeah, that seems like a you know good option. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's from the location of the strata. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here. Okay. Okay. So hold this side from here. Yeah. So put it in the here. center. Yeah. Okay. Let me tell you. It's six feet. Okay. okay. So yeah, six good. feet that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's now measure the height. I want to see how high it is. So. Okay. I'll take it from here. Yeah. Okay. Now and just try it, making it touch the top. Okay. Touch the top. Yeah. Now for simple calculations, let's make it this. Put it there, put it there. Uh, uh, it's about three feet. Okay. okay. That's yeah. three feet. So we have vertex at mm. three feet high, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's assume that this is our axis, x-axis. Mm -hmm. Let's okay. assume that to be x-axis. Right? Okay. If not, then we can always add my height. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Fine. Fine. We'll just find the height of the equation of this parabola. Okay. 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 So what do you think the equation should be? Let's assume y axis is right here in the center. Yeah, exactly. So and we have here. first x intercept here. Mm. The second one is here, right? So uh -huh. we got two x intercepts. So for a parabola, what should be the equation in factored form? Um, it should be um, the two uh, zero. Or yeah, yeah. So one at zero and one at six. Right. Mm. Yeah, and then you can find the a value so by using the vector. Correct. So it should be a times x times x minus 6 for that mm. group, right? Yeah. yeah. And that just does a function, yeah. f of x, which will give us parabola. Yeah. And now let's find a, a from the vertex. So what is the coordinate of the vertex? Um, it should be um, half of this. Okay, 0 three. plus 6 divided by 2 gives me 3. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the height was 3, right? Yeah. yeah. So x is 3, y is 3. Okay. So if you put in this equation f of x equals to a times x times x minus 6, you can 3 for 6. Uh, 3 for x and 3 for y. How do you calculate a? So we'll say f of x is 3, right? Uh -huh. So 3 equals to a times, yeah. 3 times, within bracket, 3 minus 6, which yeah. is minus 3. Uh -huh. So on this side we have 3, on this side we have oh, minus, minus 9, nine yeah. times a. Yeah. Oh, okay. What is a? 3 divided by minus that's 9, oh. which gives us minus 1 over 3. Oh, yeah. Correct? Okay. So yeah. a is 1 over 3. What is the equation of the parabola now? There. Oh, yeah. So it should be y equals then 1 over 3 as the a value. Yeah. And as x, you can think of x. And then we, since it's the center point of this, it should be minus 3. And then since it's also going up, uh, 3, so plus 3. Yeah. yeah. So we'll not put it in the vertex form. Mm. Let's we started with the intercept form. Let's close it there. Yeah. So what should it be in the intercept form? Oh, uh, it should be uh, y equals negative one over three. Yeah. Um, then times x. Yeah. And then times x minus six. Perfect. Mm. That yeah. is what it is. That's fine. And what you were trying to say is the vertex form, right? Oh yes. yes in the vertex form, form, we could have done that way also. Mm. Yeah, that means exactly. we would have written f of x equals to a times x minus three plus three. Oh, yeah. Minus okay. 3 whole square. Yeah. yeah minus three, 3 whole square. That was yeah. a good idea. Actually, uh -huh. I love that. Mm -hmm. And in that case, you could have found A by using this point, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Zero, zero. That's exactly. fine. <laughs> zero, zero. Exactly. You get your equation in the vertex form. Oh, yeah. That's fine. So we could have done it both ways. Yeah, exactly. Good so job. After looking at this, we've actually successfully found the equation to a problem. <laughs> That's like. so thrilling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and wow. <laughs> this is like y equals to minus 1 over 3x times x minus 